Okay, first and foremost, before I start this review, I want to apologize for the audio of the last video. Uh, I've been using that camera for quite some time, and I really think the uh, mic is finally deciding to uh, tap out on me. But uh, I apologize for the audio. I'm going to try to get that fixed uh, as soon as possible. I've been looking to buy a new camera anyway, so why not upgrade to a uh, high-definition video and uh, better audio quality while I'm at it. Uh, but wow, what a pay-per-view the Elimination Chamber ended up being. Uh, we we didn't know what to expect. You know, we didn't know if anything could have happened that was worth a shit. But, by God, this pay-per-view was great. I, I loved it. I thought it was amazing. Uh, and let's just say that Booker T, Michael Cole, and Josh Matthews, especially Booker T, I thought did a fantastic job with commentating. They really added to the excitement of the uh, pay-per-view. But uh, let's get right to the very first match. Alberto Del Rio versus Kofi Kingston. Great way to start this pay-per-view. The match only got 11 minutes, which I wish it could have got a little bit more time. But other than that, it was just great all around. Uh, a lot of great mat work by Alberto Del Rio. And Alberto Del Rio just, just looked good overall, as well as Kofi Kingston. But uh, we got to see a lot of great-looking near falls. And Alberto Del Rio does get the win, as I predicted, via the armbar submission. And uh, it was a great opening match. Uh, the second match was the SmackDown Elimination Chamber match for the World Heavyweight Championship. Kane versus Drew McIntyre versus Wade Barrett versus Big Show versus Rey Mysterio versus Edge. Wow. This match, in my opinion, was the match of the night. This match was freaking awesome. Awesome. It got an amazing amount of time, 32 minutes to be exact. And like I said, the big show was in the match. He was the sixth surprise participant. You know, this match, I was on the edge of my seat the entire time. It was good from beginning to end. It, there was no disappointment whatsoever in this match. Uh, I predicted Edge would retain the title, and he did just that. Uh, Mysterio and Edge actually started the match and they ended the match as well which I thought was amazing uh, but Edge and Mysterio got the match off to a great pace and I really loved how all the wrestlers used the chamber to their advantage uh, I got to see a lot of great Irish whips into the chain walls people thrown through the pods uh, let's see Wade Barrett uh, was the third person involved in the match. Uh, Kane was the fourth. McIntyre came in fifth. And the Big Show came in last. We got no eliminations whatsoever until after all the participants were in. So I thought that was great. We got to see all six wrestlers in the match at once before anybody was eliminated. Uh, but Wade Barrett was the first person to get eliminated. But, you know, I'm not going to take any away from Wade Barrett. I thought Wade Barrett did an amazing job. He had a great effort. Uh, he was eliminated by the Big Show. Uh, the Big Show was out second, and McIntyre was out third, uh, both by Kane. Kane really dominated in this match, and he looked really good. Uh, but then, of course, Kane was the fourth guy to be eliminated via Edge's spear. Uh, it was an awesome double spear to be in fact. Uh, Kane had Rey Mysterio in a tombstone type position. And Edge just came up from out of nowhere and speared them both. And it was amazing. Uh, Edge did get the pin over Kane. Which left Edge and Rey Mysterio uh, at the end of the match. They started it like I said and they ended it. But uh we got to see an awesome finish. Uh, Rey Mysterio was coming off the top rope and Edge hit him with a mid-air spear. I thought that was amazing. Uh, but that was the match. Edge wins. He retains. 32 minutes long. Wow. I, I, I gotta say, uh, I've been giving Edge and Rey Mysterio some grief over the last year or so because I thought they've been kind of stale, especially Edge. But wow, man, they really changed my opinion. Man. They put on a great, great match. This match was freaking awesome. At the end of the match, though, Alberto Del Rio from out of nowhere comes in and goes to work 
on Edge, which I thought was fantastic because, you know, he's quickly letting Edge know that he's ready for him at WrestleMania. So why not start <laughs> no time like the present, you know what I mean? I thought that was great. But what made it even better was seeing the return of Christian. That's right. Uh, Christian comes in to save Edge, to help him, I should say, and Christian gets a couple good blows in on Del Rio, so it was really great to see Christian come back. All right, the third match of the night. Well, actually, before I get to that, Trish Stratus makes an appearance. She is a trainer for Tough Enough. Uh, Booker T introduced her, and she was actually there. Uh, her whole segment was actually kind of corny. But, you know, whatever. We got to see Trish Stratus back, and apparently she's uh, going to be doing Tough Enough with Austin. So that should be cool. Uh, the third match of the night was the WWE Tag Team title match. Vladimir and Santino going up against Heath Slater and Justin Gabriel of the core. I got to say, this match was only five minutes long, which I, I hate matches that are only five minutes long. This match... Should have had more time, but for the five minutes that we got to see, it was really great. Uh, I thought both teams looked good. We got to see some great tag team wrestling. A lot of fast uh, tags in and out, always keeping a fresh man in. And of course, like I predicted again, Heath Slater and Justin Gabriel, they get the win. Uh, Justin Gabriel does the 450 splash on Vladimir and gets the 1-2-3. I thought the match was good. I just needed more time. Uh, Vicky, Guer Vicky Guerrero, she comes out, you know, blah, blah, blah. Crowd booing the holy hell out of her. Uh, basically, Kelly Kelly gets rehired. Who really gives a shit about that? Uh, but the cool thing about that is Lay Cool comes out and they beat up on Kelly Kelly. Then Trish Stratus, well, she gets involved and uh, she botches a move. <laughs> Oops. But uh, at least we got to see Trish Stratus in action for a small period of time. <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny, the whole botch. But uh, anyways, the fourth match of the night was the WWE Championship match. The Miz and Jerry King Lawler. I was very, very surprised at this match. I thought Jerry King Lawler and The Miz did a great job. Uh, you know, I was hoping this match would get between 12 and 15 minutes. You know, Jerry King Lawler is 62 years old, so you don't expect him to really go long in the ring nowadays. But uh, this match got 13 minutes, and I was very surprised with that. I thought that was fantastic. You know, great amount of time. We got to see a lot of great, quick near falls in the beginning of this match. Jerry King and The Miz really going back and forth. King looking good. The Miz looking good. Uh, the Miz did get a little help from Alex Riley, a little bit of help, but then the ref quickly uh, got rid of Alex Riley. So Alex Riley was gone through most of the match, and the Miz was actually fighting the King one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, let's see, Cole actually does get Jerry King Lawler's face. Uh, the, uh, the King and the Miz are on the outside, and the, the Cole is just screaming at Jerry Lawler because Jerry Lawler is really really putting it to the Miz and uh, basically the king throws the Miz into uh, uh, the Cole Cole's lap and that was that uh, I thought that was an awesome moment of the match uh, Miz does get the win just like I predicted he gets the uh, win via the skull crushy finale but like I said I thought this match got a great amount of time uh, Cole doesn't really interfere like I was hoping he would. I mean, he did get in his face a little bit, but that was, that really wasn't interfering. And, yeah, like I said, Alex Riley was out of the match for most of it, and The Miz does get the win. I guess you could say it was kind of a clear victory. <laughs> a clean victory, I should say. But this match was very entertaining. I enjoyed it. I didn't expect it to be such a great match, but it was great. And, I, and I also, I really liked the storytelling. I thought the King uh, and the Miz did a great job with the uh, ring psychology. Uh, I, hate to, I hate to say this, but you know, having the King's mother's death, you know, happening last week, that kind of added to the storytelling and the. Uh, emotion that was in the match. I, I really liked it. The match was great. Alright, now we get to the uh, main event, the Raw Elimination Match. Elimination Chamber Match, I should say. And wow, this match was great as well. 
I did like the SmackDown Elimination Chamber match more. And I think I liked the SmackDown match more last year as well, if memory serves me correct. But anyways, this year, the same thing. Uh, but this Raw Elimination Chamber match was great. Uh, don't get me wrong. It got a great amount of time. In fact, it was a minute longer at 33 minutes. And we got to see Randy Orton, R-Truth, CM Punk, John Cena, Sheamus, and John Morrison. Wow, this is the only match that I did not predict correctly. John Morrison did not win, unfortunately, but he did stay in the match for a long amount of time. In fact, Sheamus and Morrison started the match, and they started the match swinging hard right off the bat. I loved it. Uh, they also, everybody in this match, used the chamber to their advantage very nicely. It was great to see them use uh, the chamber. And it was just, you know, a great explosive action. I mean, Sheamus and Morrison, they work great together. Uh, and Orton, he is the third person in. Orton comes in fired up, ready to blow. And he is kicking ass. Uh, it kind of looks like Sheamus' hand gets cut open. I, 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 don't, I don't know. It kind of looked like he had some blood on it. But Orton looked good as soon as he came in. Uh, Punk comes in fourth, but for some reason his pod door doesn't open all the way and he's trying to squeeze his way through and he kind of gets stuck and then uh randy orton goes to town uh on or on punk while he's trying to squeeze his way through punk finally gets through and then he quickly gets eliminated by orton which i at first i was like man this sucks punk's already gone but Luckily, the GM chimed in and put him back in the match. In fact, he got to go back into the pod, and they waited a couple more minutes before letting the real fourth person into the match, which ended up being John Cena. Uh, great action. These four guys are really, really working well with one another. Uh, finally, our truth he's the fifth one to come in. And I, what I liked about our truth uh, was that he came out kicking ass. He was really swinging for the fences in this match, but quickly, uh, to nobody's surprise, really, he was eliminated by Sheamus. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I think we all saw that coming a mile away. But uh, finally, CM Punk is the last man in this match, and we get to see five guys in the match. So one guy was eliminated before all six were in. No big deal, uh, because the match was awesome. Uh, Orton quickly became the second man eliminated uh, via the GTS by Punk. Uh, I thought it was awesome. Uh, Sheamus was then eliminated by John Morrison. Uh, John Morrison, wow, he looked great in this match. He scaled the cage, was actually climbing to the actual peak of the cage up on the ceiling, and he drops down and it lands on Sheamus and gets the win, or, or the pin, I should say, and he eliminates Sheamus. I thought it was fantastic. Uh, great little spot. Uh, but then, unfortunately, Morrison gets eliminated by Punk via yet again to go to sleep. He really used that move well to match. And then Punk, unfortunately, gets eliminated by Cena via the attitude adjustment. That's right. Cena wins this match and is going to... WrestleMania take on The Miz. Wow, I am not happy with the ending. I thought it was bullshit. What about The Rock and Cena? Are we not going to see that match at Mania? I think we all want to, uh, but now it doesn't look like we're going to, which I really hated to see. Uh, wow, I really thought Punk or Morrison should have won, but damn it, it didn't happen. But other than that, other than Cena winning, the match was great. This pay-per-view all around was fantastic. I thought it was great pay-per-view. Uh, that's the review. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the show. What did you like? What did you not like? Uh, this is Goldis, guys. Peace out.